Hey YouTube. So we didn't get to go on the vacation that we wanted to because half the world is on fire right now, literally. Uh, we were gonna go up to Idaho and take our travel trailer and take Trello with us. But since, like I said, everything is on fire, uh, we decided just to take a little trip about an hour and a half away from our house, go camping for a couple of days and still bring Trello with us. So. We got out his old cage. This is the first cage that we had when we brought Trello home. I made sure to, to clean it real good because it's been in the garage for a little while and looks like some of the wires got a little bent out of shape. It hasn't been used in so long. But it's, it's clean for Trello. And I looked it up. These types of sticks, pine, I'm sure I'm going to get lots of um, comments about that. I've looked it up. Pine is actually safe for birds. I mean, heck, birds in the wild here. Not parrots, but other birds are using pine sticks all the time. So this is where Trell is going to be for the next few days, other than the times that we take him out to play with them when we're in the camper. And look, there's a deer way over there. So this is where Trello is for now. So our first night camping with Trello, forgot to bring a blanket to cover his cage with, so my oldest daughter has a dress that she was going to donate. We're just going to put that over the cage and that'll, that'll cover Trello up for the night. So it's the next morning and... I tried to get Trello in his harness to take him for a walk, but it has become very apparent to me that he just does not like the harness. So sorry, Aviator Harness, you're a good product, but I'm gonna have to give up on you because as much as I've tried to train Trello to tolerate it, he's kind of his own bird. He does not like it whatsoever. So I just took him outside and walked around for a minute on my shoulder, and he was fine. I figure, you know, if he flies, whenever he's he gets spooked, he always flies to one of us. So if he flies, he's probably just going to fly back to one of us. Um, if he flies to a nearby tree, he will wait for us in that tree, and then he will come come to one of us. So I think he will be perfectly fine. He's... He's kind of a nervous bird, and his people are kind of his his comfort blanket, so to speak. So he'll be fine, but we're going to go for a drive and then for a hike, which I think during that he should probably stay in his cage in the quiet, get a little nap, because he didn't get much quiet last night, and birds need that quiet time. Parrots do, so see you in a little while, Trello. So here we are the next morning, and I've discovered a place where Trello really likes to be, so I put his plates out there. This is the room that we've been sharing here in the travel travel trailer, my wife and I. And Trello really likes it in this little cubby hole, so I decided to make it his kind of home away from home. The only problem is, the moment I walk away, and come out here a little ways, there's a little bird that peeks around the corner. Of course, now that we're on video, he's not going to do it. Trello, come here. Here we go. Here he is. So he just peeks around the corner and then eventually <laughs> keeps fluttering his wings. Oh, he's going back. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Come on, Trello. I know you want to. And, of course, the moment I stopped filming, he was on my shoulder. Say good morning, Trello. This is our last morning here, so we're going home soon. And Trello will get to go back to his own cage at home. 
So we just got home. Trello is so happy to be back. First thing he did is take a bath. <laughs> Two days of camping, that's all Trello can take. So back, he's back to his nice big cage with his bells, which are about the only toy that he will play with. And he is happy to be home. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Until next time, keep it squeaky.